aside from a book. No, I'm not going to start from two books. Me have to press play for it. to welcome you this morning the 12th of June 2016 to our first what you want to call football church and um, we designed this specifically to you know preach about our football and um while we know there's a lot of football, a football 
European football, you have you know, the MLS, Italian League, all of these leagues around the world. This is our own Jamaican football church. Designed to speak about, you know, Jamaica. And, and, and what we see is happening there within our football. So the scope is going to be a very narrow one. But it is still so wide, you know. Because, as I said, we'll just speak about basically Jamaica. Jamaica's football within tiers of the, the, the Premier League, the football that is happening in the country, the, the, the parishes, and so forth and so on. Um, so we're keeping it that way. Again, you know, for our football church here, it is it is of such, but in Jamaica, you know, football don't really have a religion, you know. Football walks over all languages and religion and all of those things. So, but in Jamaica, we kind of consider Our little globe, as, 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 as would I say, the church is. So. so, this program is kind of different because we don't hold anything back. All we want to know is that we are being honest and we are talking the, 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 the truth and um, we want to start a lively discussion. Because I don't see the discussion that really, really want to move our football in Jamaica forward. So this is a, 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 a way again to just start the discussion. I have no fear to discuss it here, you know. Um, I've spoken to a lot of journalists uh, and, 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 and people in the media. And even a lot of people out there that have a little fear of speaking up, you know, because of some sort of victimization or, or I don't know what they want to call it, but these are the things that right here in football church, we're not going to worry about that. Before I go any further though, I really, really want to speak about Montague United and our past season what we're doing now for this season even right now as, as, as for the past couple of weeks and, and what we're going to do for the preseason and upcoming season you know but for last season this is 2015-2016 football season where we became champions. We could not have done it without, you know, our sponsors. And, you know, the type of sponsors already, Red Stripe, who want to big them up. Supreme Ventures to it, Just Bet Brand again, big up. JUTC, the travel, you know, Montego Bay is one of them teams where they travel the most, you know. All the way to Kingston and back, Clarendon and back, they took us safely through our company here, which is Montego Bay Metro, you know, partnering with JUTC. I want to tell you, we are one of the best drivers, you know. No, I, I think he's a, a nice part of the family. The bus does, you know, that has helped us along the way, which is straight from the PNCS side and, and what they have done for us for the past years, you know. So we want to big up all of them sponsors there, you know. And I think with everyone, every sponsor it made it made it a little bit better, you know. We want to big up now all local sponsors. You know the the grab and goals that it came on Fontana, you know, keeping the players healthy, you know, 
all the medications and, and the goodies that the Cubans and all of that they contributed that to us and in the last part they gave us a nice piece of change you know we, we, we can't complain so we want to thank them you know the Archer family you know we want to big them up man Mr. Vassal Stalwart in St. James football and Jamaica football. You know, I promise this man so much times I've been coming up to him and I can't miss you fast and I don't go. So, Regal Bakery and Caterers, we want to big them up, man. Big them up. Them boy, anytime we call on them, they are there. Big 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 Yes, bro. Gas, you know, the ball of them love eat. So, you know, every week, every two weeks, we have to call on them when the gas come here. Keep the players them healthy because you know, nutrition is a part of the thing where we kind of leave alone sometimes. I want big up now our supporters, you know, the ones that pay come in and the ones that contribute. You know, day in, day out, you know, to, 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 you know, let us can say, listen, no, we have some sort of gate, revenues from the gates. You know, we want to really big them up, you know, and we hope they continue in the season to come. To the fans, same way, we love you, no man. Sometimes, when we love the sport, you know, we don't even have the money to pay, so we just come along. Some numbers and make up some nice and create a nice little fan vibes, you know. We love that, you know. And to our staff that had made all of this possible, I can't tell you how proud I am of, you know. And I'm going to start with. All of the work, work by the field, you know, by our ground, not easy. You cut this area today, it's grown up tomorrow. You know, they have enough tools and equipment, you know, to, to, to make it proper all the time. But, brother, you know, does his best. Marlon, boy, sometimes it seems, sometimes it doesn't seem. integral part of the team but I want to tell you they make us comfortable you know they make is a so important part of the pieces and them clean up the place the, 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 the trash the dirt to make this we have a beautiful facility Michelle Auntie Michelle again in there you know with all of these players and Sometimes them get a whole heap of trouble, a whole heap of cleaning work. Big up, Auntie Michelle. You know, we want to say, like, we could not have done it in the order that we have done. Sandra Christie, big up yourself. The mother, the, the energy, the, the, the no-nonsense person, the, the, the not settling for nothing but the best for your players. Big up on that. Keith, Mr. Mark, Mappa, Garrett. Listen, we're not going to names and numbers, man. We want to respect everybody that contributed to this past season. And to say, thank you, man. You have made us the champions that we are. The individual from from even the the, the the companies that sponsor us again taking time out to be a part of oh, pal, regal man. I 
no he loved at all. No, he loved it. And he has done so much for us, you know. So, last but not least, now we can't finish without our speaking about our players, you know, the team. A lot of times, speak about the, the training partners of these great footballers that they see on the pitch day in day out you know so the little ones that you don't even see getting games the frustrations of some where they don't even finish the season because I guess they thought they would not have gotten a game because of quality that we do have. But I want to say to them, thank you for the training, for the fight that you give to the senior players so they can become better. And yourself, that I think all of you would have improved. You know, want to big them up straight up. So the core of the team now, which you see them public would have seen them day in day out you know and they would have been the, the popular ones we want to thank them we want to thank Dino Williams for that final they say come on I'm not dead though call him Duffy see and with his injury testimony to, 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 to the season, you know, and the hard work that they put in. So, Stebe, Dwayne and Muslim one, all the way from Lucy, I want to big up some people from Lucy the same way. And to say Stebe, man, I don't think he could have done it. qualities that they show, you know, and continue to show, you know, it, 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 it is even an inspiration to me, you know, and um, just a team in general, I want to feel, I feel proud to be a part of these youngsters that I've seen grown into decent young men, and um, this is what it's all about because, as we say, we are unified and build a nation through our football. And um, the youngsters, them, man, as, as I said before, are proud of them so much, man. Dwayne Ambersley, Kenny Curlow. Couldn't go without mentioning that youngster. Salwar, Hart, you know, in our midfield, day in, day warrior, warrior is the word for that youngster. And again, as we touch the Jamaica team too, you know, because <coughs> it's for this reason I can't understand why, but I'll leave it at later, later, you know. Ladiel Richie. Another one again. Day in, day out, has proven himself month after month, or season after season. Still can't make the Jamaican team. So I want to tell you, I guess it's not all about being the best and being the best that you are. I guess, you know, it is what it is, you know. But we speak about that. Cardell Simpson, Winston Wilkinson, the man Borough, who well, sometimes people would love to be a But again, they said the word. Alan Aki, you know, 
drive the fear in you know, all of these other things, day in, day out. You know? Ramos, Ronaldo, Rodman. Go and pick him up. Pick him up. Orlando McBain, Senior. years in a row, best keeper in a Jamaica, all is a win the money, Rafa, you all is a win the money, so, to the team, and everybody would have known by now, one of the man that I don't think we could have done it without any at all. so much special kid and we just expect great things from him and he's now in the NASL in the 11 I think they won the, the, the mid-season championship yesterday you know, or Saturday so it is it is it is again we have worked so hard over the years and for the longest time in our we have we have now having players move on because people are recognizing the work that we are doing and um, we respect that and, 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 and we will continue to maintain our standards that people will continue to want our players and to want look at, at us. So we go back to the season now and we are say we started the season. Tim Hankinson and um, he is no have so much respect for the club where we are I guess the first player that he wanted was Dino Williams and because of some injuries he had to come back and know Omar God is with him. But we started the season great, losing the first game and um, after that, didn't lose another game until he had to go, you know, and to bring in a faster that we would call it. And um, he is doing great things there. And we hope that this great partnership that we have will continue, you know. So, after he had to go. We brought in a Brazilian and boy was working out, you know. It was it was something quick and fast. But he himself did what he had to do. And um, we had to make the final decision for the coach and we stood for the longest side. that we just want the best man to go to United. And seeing fit in January we brought in our, our own Paul T. Gap Davis, you know. And the discussion that we had was he was coming to this club for one reason and for one reason only. And that is to 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 win this cup. As I said the rest is history. But As a player, I did so much, you know. And we knew the quality team that we had, and we knew that if anybody was so deserving, you know, and to partner with us to, 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 to achieve the ultimate prize would be Mr. Davis. And he did not fail. It was not an easy one, but he did not fail. And I think at the end of final game, you know, he 
made us all proud. You know? In my mind, times and times again, I just, just look and relive that moment. And it was a joy to see the fans, the people that don't even like us. well done to the team again and it's a chapter in our life that we will always replay and always cherish it is now three finals in the five year span winning two times it is something to be proud of and something that, that I've worked so hard Disciplined part, the teamwork, it wasn't individually done, it was the teamwork, the discipline, and the adjustment of our attitude towards what we say is our football and the football that we love, that made the difference. Football, ladies and gentlemen, is not a joke business. And it's not a hustle. And it can bring us such joy. And that is what we intend to do. To just continue bringing joy to the people all over. Montebonans all over the world, you know. Blessed, blessed, blessed morning. We are here on football church. That is how we call it. We are discuss football. And we are preach football. So, we move on to what is it that we are doing now? You know? We start this program to really initiate some discussions and start some discussions. So, we may tell the people them, interact with us through our Facebook page. Have the questions coming in. We'll respond to them. We, 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 we will soon have a text number so you can text in and we have one live interaction on this program where we can have serious discussion and moving our football man to be united and Jamaica football forward because we will not set, settle for where we are right now we just have to move it a little far so while in the our season now we continue to put these things together our players are all over the world. They're, 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 they're on vacation. I know a lot of them love the football so much where they are playing football in Miami, New York, Connecticut out there running. And I want to say to them, say, listen, I'm going to take it easy now, man. We have our next championship to win. So, yeah, well, sometimes we need to just take some rest. But that is what they are doing now. Um, we are cleaning up by the park. We are, we are, we are preparing again to rest. Most of our staff will be telling them now, listen, take all the vacation now that they need. So all uh, the mall and the brothers and whatever will now get their vacation to, 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 to just be away from the, the, what they do all year now and, and, and do something else. And that goes for all the staff. I myself think it's take a break, but work is work, you know. The preseason, we have some games lined up. We are planning to travel July, August and um, our same fast coach and, 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 and who I said is a lifetime member of Montreal United. Tim is arranging something for us up in the States about a three or four game situation. While we here are planning our local little Western thing to, 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 to have some preseason game going. And then um, by then, you know, the Premier League ready again. And while we say we have achieved the work as 
just started. Because our intention for next year is to go a little bit further. You know? Um, we're, we're not loving this theater. The Jamaica football right now, the Jamaica Premier League. And we can't use it as a measuring stick because when we go any further, we continue to fail, you know? So if we go to the CFU, I notice we're not doing that well. And it was there. We were there last year. And while we got through at a third place, we didn't think that was good enough. And even this year again, while we won the Red Star Premier League, we failed to qualify for the next round, for the final round of the CFU, which I think was a failure to us in, on our part. So in saying that next year, while we will continue to, 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 to focus on this our Premier League, that is not the thing this next year for us. We, we, we are intending to be the champions of the Caribbean and not taking back that talk. So people, if, 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 if you don't see we get there, that is where we want to be next year. We want to be champions of the Caribbean because this year, no disrespect, Central FC, which is now the champion, and they move on to play the Conquer Cup Champion Club League. We in Jamaica, we are out of that. And I'm saying 2016-2017 season, that is what we ask. champions of the Caribbean. So, we know we step up the recruitment of our, of some, we, we, we really, we look some players and we really going to focus on that for the coming season. Because we want to be the best we can be, you know? Nothing less than that. Um, as I said, to join us, you can join us and link us on our Facebook page, Montreal United. And you can text some questions, your questions that you want to text us, you know. 809-1333. And we can have the lively discussions here. Our website, we have our website, and that is where we're trying to, to, to bring people to. Again, it's Montreal Bay United. Dot com, you know, website or mobeunited.com, you know. So we have the two websites there. It's the same website, but they link Mobe United as well as Montague United. Dot com and the Facebook page. And um, we're starting this football as, as you have a Today, you know, it's so it's so happened that today again is the, 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 the and I said it's because of the discussion uh, text that this person just sent me that we had when we were in Jamaica down there. Fell in love with the people and um the game that I went was to say Granville and, and Jamaica play, you know. Granville last one they, they could have lost by a lot more, but the people were wondering why I'm there cheering for Granville. Eh? Granville is my next door neighbor. <laughs> and um, a team again from St. James that I would, would have hoped that would have you know, brought another team here in the city. But it wasn't to be. And um, the reasoning that we had with the people in St. Elizabeth is that yo, you know, Moby we're tired, we're tired of the traveling. We're tra we really, really just really look at it, you know. While it, it might not be a problem to the rest of the teams you know, or the clubs, you know. Uh, oh, we are really not here, you know. Every week after week, we have to be heading, heading east, heading east. So we'd have loved if one of the journeys would have been cut, you know. But that is not so. 
brand deal. So I had to cheer for them, you know. Even though at one stage the people were telling me that, listen, Paul, you're not supporting them, man. You're not supporting them, you know. And I said, I have to, you know. If they were of the opinion that I should be supporting the Malco, you know. But I said, climb down kind of too far. We got it two times in the season every year, each time, you know, already. So maybe three. So I was looking at a way out, you know, but they wouldn't stand for that at all. They wanted their team, and I understand that. But it is what it is, the final game for that content, um, for the Premier League. You know exactly, I guess, Jamaica is there already, and we want to congratulate them, you know. So we know, remember Jamaica will come and compete with you in this season coming out. We will welcome you here in Montpellier. So welcome to the big league. Or that is what we call it, you know. And I want to say, to the next two teams now, which is Marvali and um, Brazil, you know. I wonder who may I bring again. I have to bring Brazil. But they are the underdog. Or if I'm Marvali, I want to big up all the people from Marvali. Because we know that community, nice. Have them little vibes. Put them things together. And it's truly deserving to where they are, you know. Brazil again, but I love the charge life on the north coast. And the link of a friend of my St. Dan's and we play some ball and come back home. So it is what it is, we we'll wait until the end of the day to find out that result. But we do wish them well. And, and, and anything come, we just have to deal with them and just want to know say, Welcome to the Premier League, you know, the Red Star Premier League, the National League, and we do hope you aspire to be the same that we are telling everybody just to be the best and to create the opportunities for the youngsters then in a in a in a in a disciplined way and in a true sport fashion because people don't understand this in a sports are one of the you know, as I said, no no sports. Football. You know, unifying a million of nations with football. Football set of rules and regulations, you know. That they abide by. And in following these rules and regulations, man, you win and you beat up some people. We don't have to cheat. We don't have to be biased. We don't have to do nothing. We just cut and clear and go through and do the right things. And at the end of the day, the best team should have won, you know, by playing by these rules, this is discipline. We don't have to change the field. Change the goal post, change the laws, change the rules. Or we'll fight it out on the field. We should be friends off the field. And then on the field, the players need everything there. You know? That is what I would wish for Jamaica football instead of what I see is impartialities that is happening. And what I continue to protest. You know, it's just today. We don't want to go into that. We just want to, 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 you know, nice of the church right now. Bless up the sports, you know, and, and, and deal with the positives because one of the great reasons why I think we are where we are today and will continue to succeed, you know, is because. We're honest, we're not the church. We now say, yo, you are. Do as I say, and not what I do. We are saying that we are doing. See? We are staying true and positive. There is no negative, man. There is no nothing. We just want honest discussion. Honesty, man. Clean. You know, there are certain ingredients or things that you have, man. You, you walk in any church and serve any God. Which part, what we are dealing with is honesty. And to be honest, most of the times, we have to be honest to ourselves. Before we can be honest to nobody else. See? And this is what, the integrity, what we are talking about. Where 
I'm so disappointed in, in a lot of people because we are here setting example for the youngsters and the youngsters continue to see us do certain things but yet tell them not to do certain things. We are fear the youngsters then and we are saying we have to stop it. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. Within the rules that we don't even set. The establishment always set the rules and they don't abide by it. And for that is where we are set. We are bring them in our church and we are talk to them in the church about how we can make In this church, a lot of it are I prefer because I have my ideas of what our main problems are. But we don't even want to focus on the problem them. Or the minute we find the problem, what the problem is, we have to seek the solution. Because if we wait until tomorrow is another problem I come. See? So in that church again. Joshi, I hear you. Um, discuss. He was telling me, asking me now to discuss what I think about the Jamaica team and, 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 and the past results. Uh, losing and, 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 and dropping out. You know, surprise me. Some big games and games at, at, at one stage you wouldn't even think we have a chance to win. But I think this year was one of the best years, or with the talent that we do have, it, 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 it was one, one of the best years to, to we'll move forward. Um, but the results were not surprising to me based on a number of things. We can't win we can't win competitions. We might win a game here and a game there. But with our attitude, with the leadership of the JFF again, we can't go nowhere fast. That is where everything starts from. Because they don't care. And I think personally say we get used to or they want us to continue to believe and be satisfied with losing. So, that spirit of the day, we are not a winner. And, and, and as a matter of fact, we, we not treat the football with no love and no care. So, that has a result to me in the continue. Play some good games, have the talent, but not reaching nowhere. We have to have a mission. We have to have uh, a plan. Oh, we're going. And, 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 and not only that the one man have the plan but everybody can't right now I don't even know who is running the JFF you know it, it is not an institution the, the JFF has become a one man thing so I don't know I don't know how that trans, but it must be in some way lead on to the players that play on the pitch. There's something you know about everybody have the ability because we have players with great ability here in Jamaica that could be on that field. You know, it's not ability alone play football. The most important component that I think is the attitude. And, and the attitude, you have to want it. Now, when we look at the players who are playing in Jamaica now, 
how much of them want it or want the vice to play in a euro or want the vice to play in the MLS or willing to die for that or willing to fight for that none of them because all of them play there already so they don't really care about that right they are there they don't even care if they maintain it and that is the attitude that I see of a lot of these players the ones even in the MLS, I don't even think they want to play in the English football and go no higher. And the ones that are from England now, they can't go no further. Because of the age and because, you, you know, I mean, I think they're not good either. No. The contribution that they have made, we want to beat them up still. Because we have to try a thing if the thing not working. You know. We have to try a thing, you know. And we tried it. And to the last game left in this Copa Centennial. We hope we can use it now as a measuring stick us to, to see how our youngsters or the or the Jamaicans will go out there and fear. Because none of them have even gotten any experience now. Because all of these games that have been played. We put on one and two of them and, and, and that's it. So they have, they have earned the experience of sitting on the bench. Nothing more. So what is that? How is that going to be useful for them next year or, or, or going forward? So we win or we lose. But we lose in two aspects of the thing because we don't win nothing at all. But if we was losing... And we're winning some experience. We're winning some other things. It would have been not much better. But we're just losing and we lose, we lose, we lose. We're losing in all aspects of the sport. That need to change. We have to win lives and win opportunities for the youth in Jamaica. And we have to win. And make a youth, even here now, in Jamaica, think that he has hope in our football. Because I don't even think the youngsters seriously believe, man, that if they are even good enough, they will have a chance. I don't see it. You know? And these are the things, again, what we are trying to say. Sometimes a man not good. Or he's not the best player. But because of his attitude, and because of the desire and the passion, you play ten times better. I give you the effort is a lot, lot better. And get a better contribution to the game. Now, that is what I see a lot of other countries are doing. They are investing in the youngsters. They are investing in locals. They are giving opportunities to the youngsters. But we in Jamaica don't understand the business side of football. That is why we continue to shop overseas. You know? We, we are not interested in developing and producing players for the market overseas. And that is one reason again. I'm of the belief that, that, that if our Premier League doesn't get better, we'll continue to have that problem. So, the Jamaica team, we wish them all the best in the last game. We, we, as I say, I, I would hope, we, we, there's one thing that I always say, there's nothing you can do about the past. And, and we can look at it and, 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 and learn from our mistakes and You know, make some serious decisions on, on, on the past in going forward. But there's nothing we can do about it. And I just hope one day, every day, I do hope that the JFF, which I can't blame nobody else, and, and at times you feel like you cannot blame the, a lot of people in the JFF because 
they seem to be controlled or influenced solely, not by even what they think, but by the president, which I think straight and plain to cut it and go back clue. And he has brought us to great, great heights, 98 and, 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 and for, 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 for a couple of years after that. But, but, you know, while he's good at some, certain things, we are failing, failing seriously at other areas. And I continue to say, borrowed time has come and has gone. Um, and if it's not working, not, not because... You know, we have a thing where, where a man produced, produced for years and he stops producing and um, we can't let him go because he did so much for us in the past. But if we, we, we continue to think that way and we're not, we're, not, we're not pushing a man to the side and say, boy, he can't contribute in a no way. No. But the bat must be passed. In, in a really a man, when a, when a man around a really a man, and I know when the man lose, man, he won't pass off the button, man. He must try and pass the button to the man in a good standing. Everything the race in him, him winning the race, and him watch the next man continue that race and finish it in a good, good order. That is what you want to see. You know, you don't want to see a man a drop down, man, and a, a drop down, and that the time they won't pass the button. I myself here, we look at it and know say, everything in life, timing is more important, you know. Timing is very important. And um, I myself know the, 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 the hat that I wear now, the seat that I'm in now. I just want to leave it because there's young people with energy and a passion that will come on, that it must exceeds me or, or what I'm all about and at that stage I'm willing to say low pass on the button man because I think that is what it's all about because we, if we don't pass on the, the, the thing in good standing we will always play that catch up game with our football and, and to me that is what we do all the time now we, we have we have people that we owe so much to but in repaying them we have them sit in positions and continue to sit in positions where it's not until death or it is totally destroyed that we want to say it's time for a change we are saying as soon as the weakness starts show we should just try somebody else and as a matter of fact, sometimes we can run away or travel and go do some other things and come back, energize and take up back that, 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 that position there and move it forward, you know. So I'm saying I think our football now is at that stage. I, I, I honestly need somebody. Somebody said to the other day that I'm hungry for power. Power is least to me, man. Power is something that in the, the, the hands of the good people is a good thing. In the hands of bad people, it, it, it can be dangerous. But power is not something that I want because to be held accountable and the standard that I want to bring to this thing, it's not easy. But I can say this. I want good things. I want to maintain and have people around me live a quality of life that I think is deserving. I tired to see the youth that play upon this, you know, this cow field all the time. You know, and I think they are deserving. And it's we have to get it and give them. So it's just good things I want to see. And I don't want to see good things. For my football club only. Because if we are alone, if, if you look at 
you see in bold. You know? Watching that race last night. The competition is what makes him great or him greater. A man start out at the block and stumble. And people go and left him. Good competitors. And that man was determined to catch them and to win the race. This is what I want to see in football. I want to see clubs stepping up. And the other instead of hating him, pulling up your socks, man. Because that is what I did. You know? We looked at what was happening all over Kingston and, and, and with all the bigger clubs. And decided no more. And we saw it as a winning. You know, the, 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 the whole structure that you guys put together and, and, and things like that. So we, we, we look at that and say, it's the winning formula that, you know. So let us try it. And it is proper management, proper planning. So that will be, you know, with Mobile United. I will continue to be. And that is what other teams are beating you. It's not about the resources all the time. We speak about if you don't have proper planning, you'll never get proper good res proper resources. So all we are saying again is that the structure, the planning of a liquor club like Montreal Bay United has been working. And we has been we have been impacting not only Jamaica's football, you know, but the Caribbean football. And we are saying, Jamaica, JFF, need to go back and plan properly. And let us be all on the same page. We are about contracts of players. There are certain things to be put in place for the longest while. And I'm hearing now, up to today, certain people don't sign the contract yet. I refuse to sign the contract, and they are still playing for the national team. So we're not serious about football, man. You know? So, we again will continue. If, if we want it to be the same thing, we will continue to settle for what is happening now with Bobby United and all of that. And we are continuing to fight again. So we lift the standard. The playing field, JFF, what we are playing on. Lift the standards, man. The facility that we are playing, lift the standards, man. Competitions committee and everybody will go around and decide which field to play. And I can tell you, based on where we are to start the new season, again, we spot. We are going to discuss that. Next Sunday. Where is the planning for next season? And what we're going to do? And what we here at Montego Bay United plan to do? Next season. Because I can tell you this. We won't be a part of the foolishness where the PLC is concerned. We won't be a part unless we start straighten out ourselves. We'll walk it alone. And that is the discussion for next week. You know? And football church. Because we are keep it real. And we want to make sure that we now follow the, 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 the people them up. Go continue to make a lose, but or to make a fail. Because the years. I prefer, you know, I am tired of people like me, I may have failed. You know, tired of the, 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 the things that everybody like, I will fail. We have to make some decisions to do the right thing. So us, you know, as a community, as a football club, as a nation, do not fail because we simply not following the trend, you know. 
we have to do the things in the interests of the bigger picture. You know? It's not because I like you or I don't like you. It's because you're doing the right thing. It's because you're moving us forward. It's because you're really making a difference. And that is what I want to do with this program. We want to talk to people how we can make it better. We want to, to, to speak to some people but don't come to Premier League games and find out why they're not coming. And what we can do to make them come. And how we can make it more attractive. But based on the little that, why we want that sort of discussion to happen. Me can tell you some of the things that I see and will be doing to make it better. To accommodate which I think is the biggest support line. And them we want to come out supporters, they want to buy the tickets and come in, they want to enjoy the game, the family vibes that we want to create, we want to have them discussions the next week, what we can do, you know, to, for so much people out there that want to come to the games, that do not come, and why they don't come, and how we can really get them, and the ones that are coming to the game now, how we can really accommodate them, because without them the fans, without the vibes, I don't think the football club is nothing more than, than scrimmage, you know? It's not our Premier League. Our Premier League want pack stadiums, want the vibes, want the energy. And um, that is where we are building for. So we just want the, the, the world go out and understand that, that, that. We just want to build it. We don't want to mash up nothing. How can we get better? And from time to time, I'll discuss a lot of things that I've discussed at the top level. Because people say, why well, I don't do this? in certain areas, but I guess sometimes we don't get a chance. Like, they said Sunday again, and we do this next week, and everybody that, 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 that came through today, big up, I know I'm kind of new at this thing, so I don't really get to know how to work the thing them properly, so you just have to bear with me until, until there's so much things that I should be doing here that I'm not even doing right now. But just bear with me, and we continue the fight, and we continue this fight, all the media as we can find out to just discuss the football and, 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 and move it forward and what we think is best. So bless again until next week Sunday. God bless everyone.